Okay, we have everything now. We need set to get ready for cash gains for the weekend for week ten. As I'm bringing up, uh, just bringing up my player deviation list real quick, coefficient variables, and looking at those just so we have some data. Also, the player uh, defensive list for Yahoo already brought up as the most accurate is with any sport. You can just go here and mix and match um, defenses. I want obviously Chicago the best defensive option for the week. We may not be able to afford, but looking on down, we got the Rams. Possibly, you know, playing Seattle, a good matchup there for them. Uh, looking on down, Minnesota and Houston on by, just down the list. This is in terms of points scored for the season, how you organize it. You know, all players, if you have a, a team on Yahoo or just sign up for a free one. Um, defensive position for season stats right here. And then you look on down the line, the next best option is New England. So we're going to really just go ahead and jam them as a more affordable price really into our uh, fan duel lineup for the week to get set up for cash as we got um, a lot of our players washed here. Uh, targeted and see what we get here already so we can just bring you the optimal lineup we'll have to mix and match uh, some adjustments here hopefully this won't take too long at all and then um, keeping in mind here when you visit the page of wealthyfantasyfootball.com you go ahead and get all these uh, top 10 or so of each position uh, rankings for example the wide receiver uh, position looks good this week I've got some options here, um, keeping various things in mind, such as um, Julio Jones at point three seven, very consistent, and has uh, stayed the course now with a touchdown. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Keenan Allen has uh, all of a sudden come more to life and become more reliable as really the most consistent uh, wide receiver, believe it or not. Just doesn't give you a whole lot of uh, points on a per-game average, but a point two seven coefficient um, uh, variation, not bad at all, uh, even though his upside is very limited at Three, uh, three point three standard deviation, very low uh, upside. If you need to go up more of a up, uh, more of an upside, you know, of course, you can go with one of the Rams receivers, preferably Woods or Cooks, as these guys are also on the list. But in more of a tournament, perhaps Cup with a uh, pretty good upside as well at fifteen point five points per game. He relies on a touchdown somewhat, and um, you know, uh, he's on my. Uh, Hey, list right now, Mike Evans, Evans, of course, getting all the targets as he did last week with only one catch. So just a brief overview view of that is what's going on. And uh, now as we've generated per perhaps a lineup that we can go with, we've got Rivers, Kamara, Eckler, Woods. Uh, I'm not liking that. I'm going to switch over to my New England defense, get them in real quick. I'll show you the optimal, the optimal uh, cash game lineup here basically right now and going through the process, lock that in. As far as anybody else, I do want to lock. And Njoku at that price, 5400 Of course, uh, who else can we lock in? As we talked about, Allen, low floor. Uh, basically, anybody else here? I do like uh, Rivers. Ah, let's keep that open because I might be able to go uh, with someone else. Valdez, Scantling, definitely like him a lot with his low scoring. Uh, he'll get you at least 10 points as he's done so over the past four weeks. And then let's um, reorganize that here or randomize. As you can see, we are getting um, Matt Ryan now, Nick Chubb, Kamara in the lineup with Julian Edelman. Love it. Um, don't love the tight end here at Flex, so we're going to uh, mix it up again, see what else we come up with, and keep it going here. As long as I found another player that I like to lock and load, no problem. Now it's coming up with Aaron Rodgers, interestingly, with David Johnson, also a consistent play. Um, Tevin Coleman at the flex. So this is a variation of uh, what I originally came up with. Uh, I originally came up with Luck with also a good solid floor, but this time it happened to work with Rodgers for me because I am getting these um, good wide receiver options, great flex option, Tevin Coleman with my Patriots D, and that is a good lineup to save for the day. So I'll probably lock and load that for the weekend, set it, forget it. Because none of these players are hurt or anything else, but anything comes up, of course, um, changes within the landscape of the NFL injuries, just update your lineups there. Thanks for watching.